Look at this, guys, the antenna where I am. Look how far we are. We'll pass where that gentleman's at, way over there. The antenna, you can't even see the antenna where I am and I'm getting really good signals. Today we're gonna bring in a smart wireless bridge. This actually goes extensive, uh, extensive uh, miles. Uh, you could actually do almost 2.5 miles away from point to point. We're gonna test it out and see what you do and how to set it up and see what you get first of all. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're gonna open it up. So what you get, first of all, a tube tie, you know, you got these actually curve, especially if you're going to build a mount or anywhere on your roof. And they work well with those um, satellite mounts, which uh, I have set these up before in the past. But first of all, I want to talk about the injectors in here, the PoE power supplies that you get. All right. You get two of them and they give you actually the tie downs that you could tie them up into a pole, which is another great feature that I've never seen that included in one of these um, accessories. So we're going to take everything out. I set these up where they actually go longer than than 2.5 miles and we're going to open up the bottom of it so you guys can see what's in belong and right now I don't have anything and it tells you right here exactly how they light up and, and how they connect. So we're going to go ahead and open one up so you can see the back of it. All right, we just opened it up and if you guys can see it, it tells you right there the connection LAN and LAN 2, all right? So LAN 1 is will be where you actually connect this one into one. And if you have another source and you want to connect it or you want to send out the signal to a laptop or a router or a switch, this one will be coming out. Now here, it's very important right here, we have the channels. So you have multiple devices with different channels or different accessories or different routes. Um, so make sure you're aware of that. So you have to match the actual channel in order to bridge them. And we're gonna do that, of course. They give you the power source too if you wanna connect the power or if you have a PoE, you can do it directly. But like I said, uh, very simple. We're gonna set it up right now from the ground up and we're gonna do it indoors first. Uh, before prior to this starting, you gotta make sure, like I said, put them together side by side and set them up. Uh, and when you get the signal on the other side, you're ready to send it out. So let me show you exactly what we're gonna do and where we're gonna set it up so you guys can see. All right, guys, we're gonna set up right here, the source next to my, my garage, where we're gonna send the signal probably around that corner over there far away we're gonna try to say i'm taking a power source and a laptop and a roller so we can actually maybe get a signal from there to here and see how well it works we're gonna try to signal place it somewhere in here so we could see how it works okay we're gonna make this of the transceiver so we're gonna have to switch this little thing here if you guys can see it it's really hard you're gonna need oh actually i did it as long as you have nails you can do it so we're gonna switch it from a to b so this is gonna be mounted in uh, on this stand here that we're doing right now, we're building. So I'm gonna put this one in here, right? So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so if you guys can see, I passed it in there. We're gonna line it up to the pole here. Uh, real simple, we're gonna line it up here, and get a nice little angle view, and then we're gonna plug it in here, in indoors first. Uh, I'm gonna put it outdoors. This is gonna go outdoors, and then we're gonna do a transceiver from the other end, so if you guys notice. So right now, let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so let me explain a little bit on this one right here in particular one. This one's going to have to be A, all right? A signal. A signal goes to B signal. And B signal, which is down here, it tells you right there. I have it on B signal, if you guys can see. This is the actual receiver. It's a little confusing. I know it tells you right here that A is a receiver and B is transmitter. So transmitter, you're going to transmit not it's the opposite way i found it that it was the opposite way so just to be sure that a is going to be this one and b is going to be the intake that's very important because um i had a little trouble understanding the sticker normally it's the opposite way but it's working the way i set it up now you connect the power source here on one side on the left hand side and then i connect the computer but you don't have to you could go wireless you just gotta know the signal on the, you have to know the password for this wireless thing. So that's another very important thing you have to know before you go do that. So remember guys, that's A, which is gonna send, this one goes all the way through my internet. It goes to a PoE port that I have in here and it goes all the way here. See the cable and that will send in the signal. A is gonna send the signal to wherever you go, B. 
All right, for testing purposes, I got the antenna mounted here and these wheels that we're gonna actually roll away in the back out. And I have an external battery, an EcoFlow, that gives it a lot of charge. We're gonna power this sucker through here. Uh, we're gonna put the injector, of course. You know, the injector is gonna go in here. So right now, I'm a couple of feet away from here. Um, we're gonna keep testing the signal out. If you guys can see, I could hardly see here, but we're getting actually a better signal here from here. Look at this, guys, the antenna where I am. Look how far we are. We'll pass where that gentleman's at, way over there. The antenna, you can't even see the antenna where I am, and I'm getting really good signals from here. Uh, we're gonna test it out, if you guys can see it. Test again, 80. That's because I'm actually connected to it right now. Uh, we're 85, we're actually better signal than earlier. Uh, better than signal than where we were out there. In the, and you guys can see, I'm gonna step back. You can see the whole setup. I have a battery, a mount, and I'm super far away from the extra corner. So let's scroll back and talk a little bit more inside. Look, you don't have to be directly in the bridge itself to get the signals. I'm actually outdoors right now. I'm getting 82, so I'm getting closer. And you can actually see the antenna from here. I'm gonna point the antenna where it's at. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit more. You see where that white car is at? Right there. Let me see if I can get it. That's the antenna right there. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys the hidden part of the actual wireless. So when you come in here, um, the book doesn't have the password for the admin, but obviously a lot of these things you try to change them or you try to modify them. It's a little difficult, but here we just type in admin for the username and then we type in admin for the password. We log in here. It gives you a couple other choices in here and it gives you more, actually more options. Uh, we're not going to modify or change anything right now because we have it set up while we want to. Uh, we can set up the uh, any kind of password we want, but uh, as you can see, it says, please don't use to tweak password. It's it's an option. Uh, you could tweak it, but then you might mess up on the other end. And we All right. So let me explain something to you guys. Very simple. On your desktop, you don't have to be tethered in like I have. They give you the instructions on which module you have and the password that you need for the actual module in there. So let's go ahead and open the wireless connections. We're gonna so we're going to go in here. We're going to look for it, and if you guys can see it, it's right here where it says CP, CPE 5G, 5G40, and we have to look for that one, 5G40, uh, which is on the list in here, and it gives you the password in here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that one, and hit connect, and it's going to ask you for the password, of course. We have the password. Here's the signal right here, right behind me. We're going to walk a little bit further down. And right now I'm walking in my neighborhood, of course. And we'll see how, how good the signal is for this thing right now. So we're getting at 63.76.3 by 90. And I just left my, I'm around, I will say around 50 feet away from it. And I'm still getting the signal. So I'm going to keep walking away. Maybe a couple hundred yards. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can go up to 100 yards from it. So the signal, it has it lost the signal from my mouth doors, and that's the only wire that we have it, but we have the antenna pointing to me, so I am gonna get a, even a signal, even on the distance. And right now, I'm gonna try again. Here, where I am, I'm actually getting 70 by, I would say 80, close to 80. It's getting windy too. So we're gonna keep walking, and look how incredible the signal is on the distance. I could continue further up. I'm just going in a straight line where the actual antenna is at. And I'm going to hit again, test again. And that's pretty much it, man. I could go further than that. And you guys can see, I'm actually on the lap. My house, we just left there right now. So I could continue further up. And we're still going to get a 70 signal. So not just bridging, but you're actually going to get a better signal even the wreck so we're gonna walk back so i hope you guys enjoy this test 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and i hope you hit the like and subscribe